Welcome to a talk through of the solutions of a worksheet entitled Money Problem Solving 1. Question 1. Greg goes shopping with £20. He spends £5.60 on his lunch. He needs £1.30 for his bus fare. He sees this advert for shoes. Normal price £15. Sale price 10% off normal price. Does he have enough money to buy them? Well, first we need to look at what Greg has to spend. £5.60 on his lunch and £1.30 for bus fare. If we add those together, we get £6.90. If we subtract the £6.90 from the £20, we'll see how much money he has left for the shoes. And that comes to £13.10p. Now turning to the cost of the shoes. 10% of £15 is £1.50. So the sale price is £15 minus £1.50 which is £13.50. So Greg can't buy the shoes. He needs £13.50, but he only has £13.10. Question 2. Salima sees an advert for a summer holiday. And in this advert, there are prices quoted for 7 nights and 14 nights for one adult for various months of the year. Salima books a 7-night holiday in April for two adults. The travel agent adds a percentage surcharge to the cost of the holiday for booking fees. Salima's final bill is £642.60. What was the percentage surcharge? Well, first we need to find what the holiday should have cost if there were no surcharge. Two adults, seven nights in April. So each adult is £315 in April for seven nights. So the cost should have been the basic price 2 times £315, which would be £630. Now if we divide what she actually paid by what she would have paid without the surcharge, we get 1.02, which means she paid 1.02 times the £630. And the 0 0.02 as a percentage is 2%. So 2% has been added to the cost of the holiday. Question 3. Here is part of a price list for a fruit and vegetable store. The government says we should eat five portions of fruit and vegetables every day. A portion is an item of fruit or 100 grams of vegetables. Dita has £10 to spend on fruit and vegetables for one week. She wants to buy at least two different fruits and two different vegetables. Show one way of buying fruit and vegetables so that she has five a day for one week. Well, the first thing we can do is have a look and see whether she could just buy the five cheapest items for seven days a week. So if we add up the cost of apples, bananas, oranges, broccoli and carrots, it would come to 170p for a day. And if we multiply that by seven, that comes to £11.90. But that's too much. She only has £10. So let's find a cheaper way of doing it. Well, She's going to have to buy at least two vegetables, so she'll have to buy, say, broccoli and carrots to get the cheapest two. So we'll buy broccoli on one day, but on the other six days, she can just buy extra carrots instead. So let's see what that comes to. For one day, she would buy apples, bananas, oranges, broccoli and carrots, and they add up to 170p, as we saw before. But for the other six days, she could buy apples, bananas, oranges, carrots, and more carrots instead of the broccoli. So this time, instead of the 75p each day, there'd just be another 20p for more carrots. And if we add up the cost per day then, it's 115 pence per day for six days. 115 times six is 690 pence. And that gives a total cost of 170p for the day when she's having the broccoli, and 690p for the other six days to give a total of £8.60. And to specify what she's having here, it's apple, banana, orange, carrots every day. The fifth portion is broccoli one day and it's extra carrots on the other six days. Question four. Barbara uses her car to work as a volunteer driver at her local hospital. She is paid 40 pence for every mile she drives. On average, she drives 2,000 miles each month. Here is some information about the running costs of Barbara's car. 
fuel consumption is 50 miles per gallon and other running costs 10 pence per mile. Part A. Petrol costs £5 per gallon. Calculate Barbara's annual fuel bill. Well, we need to find out how many miles she's doing first. 2,000 a month, 12 months in a year, so 2,000 times 12, 24,000 miles in a year. Now, how much fuel has she used? Well, she gets 50 miles per gallon. So if she's done 24,000 miles, if we divide that by 50, that will tell us how many gallons she's used, 480. And then the bill for the fuel, it's five pounds for every gallon, so it's 480 times five, 2,400 pounds. After paying for the fuel and other running costs, Barbara saves the money left over. Barbara is planning to use this money for a holiday that will cost £3,000. Will Barbara have enough money after saving for one year? Well, first we need to find out what the other running costs would come to. And we were told they were 10 pence a mile. She did 24,000 miles in the year, so 24,000 multiplied by 0.1 of a pound is £2,400. So the total amount she spent on fuel and other running costs is 2,400 plus 2,400, which is 4,800 pounds. Now, how much did she receive? Well, she received 40 pence for every mile. So 24,000 multiplied by 40 P is 9,600 pounds. So the money she has left over is 9,600 pounds that she received minus the 4,800 pounds that she spent, which is 4,800 pounds. So yes, she can afford the holiday of £3,000 after the full year. Question 5. The shape of a flower bed is a cuboid as shown. One metre cubed of soil weighs 1.25 tonnes. A gardener wants to fill the flower bed with soil as cheaply as possible. Now the first thing we'll need to know here is how many tonnes of soil we require. The volume of a cuboid is length times width times height, so the volume is 6 times 2 times 1 equals 12 metres cubed. And the weight of soil required, because every 1 metre cubed requires 1.25 tonnes, it will be 12 times 1.25, which is 15 tonnes of soil. The table shows the costs for company A and company B. Which company should she use? and how much will it cost? So let's work out the price for both of them. Company A, 15 tonnes, 15 times £49.50 per tonne, plus £30 delivery charge, comes to £772.50. Company B charges £430 for the first 10 tonnes, then £67.50 for every extra tonne. So there'll be another five tonnes required above the 10, 5 times £67.50 plus the 430 is £767.50. So the answer, the cheapest one, is Company B at a cost of £767.50. Question 6. Molly's Cookie Shop sells cookies individually or in bags of 5, 8, 13 or 18. What is the cheapest way to buy exactly 50 cookies? You must show your working. Well, the first thing we need to do is find out the unit price per cookie to see which bags give the cheapest cookies. So, one cookie is 75p. If we look at a bag of five, £2.25 divided by five makes cookies 45p each. £2.99 divided by eight makes cookies 37.4p each. And we find if we do the same for these larger bags, that the bigger the bag, the cheaper the cookie. So we're looking to buy bags as big as possible. Now we could buy three bags of 18 but that would give us 54 cookies and we've been asked to buy exactly 50. So we'll just buy two bags of 18. That will give us 36 cookies. Then if we buy a 13, another 13 will get us as high as 49 so we'll just need one more cookie on its own. Two bags of 18 are two £4.99s, a one bag of 13 is a £3.99 and a one bag of one is 75p. 
and these add up to £14.72 to buy 50 cookies.